again this time speaking the other language um so yes for those of you who don't speak german or those of you who do speak german and prefer that i don't butcher the german um here we have it in english although i suspect that some of you will actually say but you're speaking it with a terrible australian accent you're still butchering the language um and so be it like when i was living in germany I had one of the german phd students when i asked him so i said so how's my german going and he said yeah you know it's not so bad it's not, not so perfect it's somewhere in the middle but don't worry your english isn't that good either and it, it was actually a, a joke he'd lived in new zealand for a while um uh, earlier in his studies and when he'd come back uh, his german professors complained they couldn't understand his english anymore because he was speaking new zealandish um so anyway but to the point so, uh, as uh, folks I think are aware, we've had a problem in the uh, the first batch of Mega 65s where some of the real-time clocks are not working properly. Some of them just don't tick, some of them tick too fast, some of them tick too slow, some of them tick erratically. Some of them only tick if you hold a gummy bear on the chip. Now you can search for the information on that if you like, it's true. Um, so we naturally want to have a solution for folks, which we've made, uh, and that is that we have uh, come up with this uh, external real-time clock uh, that we can connect. So it's actually designed for a Raspberry Pi. So if I turn it around the right way, um, you'll even be able to see there, it says DS3231 for Pi. Um, so these are, are quite cheap uh, to get hold of, and we've managed to get hold of a bunch. I think we're gonna have some mechanism to get them, or you can just buy one yourself if you wanna help the, uh, the project uh, save a little bit of money rather than us having to post things out to you and everything. Um, up to you. We will obviously provide a, a solution for those who uh, you know, want it. Uh, and then at the other end, we have the Grove connector. And what you'll see, this is very handy, is it's got these little hooky bits. So it actually doesn't go in the connector both ways up. And what we'll see if we open the computer and have a look in, there is a Grove connector whoops, down here. And of course, there's plenty of space here in the case. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do for fixing it in place. Uh, we'll worry about that uh, in due course. Um, so, if I run our real time clock test program, so this is very nice. Real time clock tells me it's 27 degrees inside. So, she easily needs to just fix it using the external real time clock. Won't get rid of those features of the internal real time clock that are still useful, like being able to read the temperature and things, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, so you can see here at the bottom it says real time clock is external real time clock is not installed. That's true. It's in my hand. Um, and then up here we have the current time set on the uh, internal real time clock. Uh, dates correct. Times wrong because I clearly I set it wrong at some point. Probably in mucking about with it all. That's totally fine. Um, and so now if I plug it in, now you shouldn't do this while the computer is on. I'm doing it while it's on because I want to, to prove a point to you, but. You know, if you do it, you avoid your warranty. And if I do it, well, I don't have a warranty anyway. We're making the blast of things, right? So I just have to sob very badly if the board breaks and then uh, you know, wait in the queue to get another one. Um, but if I plug this in, you'll actually see, immediately as soon as I have it plugged in, down here it says external RTC active. And then up the top here, the date and time has changed because it's now using the external real time clock. Um, so this works once you have the uh, the update to the Mega 65 core install that supports this, which we will be putting out. Um, and you can see if I unplug it, it goes back to the internal one. It says external is not installed. And I can just sit here and I can plug and unplug it all I like. And you can see it switching between the two. Again, you shouldn't be doing this if you want your warranty and you want the computer to still work as you want to. Uh, but I'm just doing it to, uh, to show you. So that's actually all there is. And then obviously you would case to back together and you know, get on having a happy mega 65 life with a working uh, externally added real time clock um, the other nice thing with that external real time clock is that if you want to you can solder the biggest fattest battery that you can imagine on there if you want to put two you know d cells in there or i don't know what so that you've got 43 million years of uh, real time clock life before the battery runs out next go right ahead it's got big fat terminals on there that it's easy to solder onto so yeah that's it really um yeah um howdy folks lurking on the uh, the channel so andy magic knight was complaining earlier when i was doing the uh, the first version of this in german <laughs> oh no i don't speak australian um well that would be i don't speak austrian in this case i guess wouldn't it? um <laughs> so you think like finally uh, that all the, the germans will then laugh at me for saying uh, austrian things um 
And any magic nonsense that says, oh, the impossible to get cable. Well, actually, we can get the cable. This is another problem. We just have to, to make them up a bit. Um, so anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I need to head off to bed soon to get up for work ready in the morning. But just wanted to uh, do that quick video so that you can see uh, how this works. Okay, catch us next time.